Hey there, Carissa here from Good Budget. Welcome back to our five part series about how to get started. Now that I've made my envelopes online, in this video, I'll show you how I add my checking and savings accounts in Good Budget. First, let's see how grandma did it the old school way. After my grandma planned out her spending by making paper envelopes, she went to the bank. Grandma walked inside to find out her checking account balance. Then she knew exactly how much money she could budget with. I want to see my information in Good Budget, so I'll go ahead and create my account so I can see exactly how much I have to budget with. When I'm logged into the Good Budget website, I'll start by clicking on the Accounts tab, and then on the Add Edit button. Then I'll give the account a name. Because I want to sync this Good Budget account with my bank, I'll go through the process of linking my accounts. So I'll leave the current balance field blank for now. To link my account, I'll start by clicking on the Edit button next to my checking account, and then on Add Bank Connection. Once I do that, I'll be redirected to the service Good Budget uses to create the connections between my accounts here and my actual banks. I'll follow the on-screen prompts, which tell me to select the institution I'd like to link with. And then I'll enter my username and password for my bank. Note that all banks are different, but mine requires me to get a code on my phone that I'll need to enter here. Once I've done that, I'll select which of my bank accounts I'd like to link in Good Budget. For now, I'll select my checking, savings, and credit card accounts. Afterwards, I'll get sent back to the Add Edit Accounts page I was previously on. I'll click on Link to Bank Account and select my checking from the dropdown. My checking account's current balance will automatically pop up in the current balance field here. Pretty cool. I'll keep adding all of my accounts. I'm going to add my savings account next. And because I already connected this bank, I don't need to add another bank connection. I can just click on the Link Bank Account dropdown and choose my savings from the list. And in my case, I spend a lot in cash, so I'm going to track the cash in my wallet. I won't sync this one with the bank, so I'll tell Good Budget what the current balance is. And Grandma didn't have a credit card, but I do, so I'll add that here too. And public service announcement, if you use a credit card, always pay the balance in full every time. I'll sync this with my bank by selecting it from the dropdown. And if I had a credit card from a different bank, I need to add a new bank connection first. If you're carrying a balance on your card from one month to another, that's a debt account, like the car loan I'm working to pay off. I'll enter the balance I still owe on the car and my monthly payment. And I'll connect this to the payment envelope I already made. And I'll show you how I make actual payments in a sixth bonus video. Whoa, wait a sec. It looks like I have less money in Good Budget than I do in real life. Oh, right. Here, Good Budget's showing me how much I can actually budget with, not just what's in my bank account. So what's in my checking, savings, and cash count toward money I can budget with. And my credit card balance counts against what I have available, because it's money I owe. But the remaining balance on my car won't affect how much I can budget with right now. Okay, save my changes. Great. I can see my accounts here. The ones I've linked to a bank account have a little lightning bolt now. And over here, I've got all that money available. It's in a holding pool ready for me to use to fill or stuff into my envelopes later on. Keep in mind, I've created these links now, so I'll only see new transactions that I make going forward, not transactions that I've already made. I expect transactions I make today to show up within a few days, but the exact timing is determined by my bank. I'll show you what I do when Good Budget automatically imports transactions later in a fifth video. Good, all my changes are saved online and I can see them on my phone too. And because I budget with my spouse, he can see them on his phone too. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video where I show you what to do when I get a paycheck.